Residential Sales Comparison and Income Approaches, page 118. With the answer to the previous example still on the display, 0 0.68, hold on, let me clear this shit. The keystrokes are, try this, 75. Now press the percent. Result. If you have correctly followed the example, 0 0.51 should be displayed. This is the usable area in acres. There you go. Square yards. In the income approach, for example, the appraiser may need to determine the amount of carpet for which replacement reserves must be estimated. Carpet is most often priced in increments of square yards. There are nine square feet in each square yard. The calculation to determine square yards is length times width divided by nine equals square yards. If the appraiser is determining the square yards of floor covering needed to carpet a room that is 12 feet by 14 feet, the keystrokes are, try this, press CLX like we always do. Let's clear this last entry in. Enter 12 for the 12 feet. Press enter. Now press 14. And then press multiply. 168.00. Well, that's in my display. It doesn't show it right here, but that's where it's at. It's at 168.00. Now press the number nine. I guess the book forgot to mention that. And then press divide. 18.6666667. Result. If you have correctly followed this example, 18.67 should be displayed. This is how many square yards of carpet would be needed. Cubic feet. A cubic foot is a unit of volume. The interior space of a warehouse, for example, is often referenced in cubic feet of area. Cubic feet are calculated as length times width times height, or in some cases, depth, equal to cubic feet. If an appraiser is determining the cubic feet contained in a building that has the ground dimensions of 100 feet by 75 feet and is 18 feet high, the keystrokes are page 119 try this just like we always do press clx clear your last entry enter press 100 press enter press 75 press the multiply button 7,500.000 is at this point in the calculation. It should probably say that, you know, just to keep people on their um, correct order or whatever. But in this video, you'll be able to see that. Immediately after it says 7,500.00, press the number 18. You don't have to press anything else. Just 18. And then press multiply. 135,000.00 
Result, if you have correctly followed this example, 135,000.00 should be displayed. This is the number of cubic feet contained in the building. All right, let's do cubic yards. There may be some occasions where the appraiser needs to determine cubic yards for certain aspects of appraising. For instance, when costing concrete. There are 27 cubic feet in each cubic yard. Cubic yards are calculated as length times width times depth divided by 27 equals cubic yards. If an appraiser is determining the cubic yards of concrete needed to install a patio that will be 15 feet by 18 feet and 6 inches thick, 0 0.50 foot thick, the keystrokes are, try this, start out, always clear your last Your last entry, press 15. Now press the enter button. Now you're gonna enter 18. Then press multiply. 270.00 at this point, right after multiply. Now you're gonna press 0 0.50. Then press the multiply button again. 135.00 at this point right here. Then you're gonna press 27. And then press the divide button. 5.00 Result, if you have correctly followed this example, 5.00 should be displayed. This is the number of cubic yards of concrete needed.